Hey guys, it's Sispawn, and welcome back to episode 20 of my Roman Spectrum 2.5 Pontius campaign. And I just went from having a really crappy day after not feeling very well to having a really good day after having a fun time out with some friends and thought it'd be fun to record an episode. So it looks like we're going to get one a little earlier than usual, so I might even get one or two recorded here and just have a couple come out this week. We'll see what happens. But we left off with everyone coming to uh, say hello to us. So the Armenians are besieging us in a couple places here. The Seleucids were having fun. Uh, Pergamon was obviously still uh, full, full throws of the campaign over there. We're trying to bait them into attacking some of our armies here. Not having a ton of luck. So I think our next move might be to go ahead and relieve Hierapolis here. Let me kind of look around for a second. We were preparing another army to go ahead and release Atala and it looks like we were going to train a couple units of Capadocians and Thrakatai before we send that army over but um they should be able to make it there in one turn it looks like and they don't uh, they do have some siege equipment so there's a chance we're going to lose Atala here but if we do worse come to worse we should be able to inflict some casualties and take it back uh, we don't have the best army defending it I think I'm going to sneak them inside here and make another garrison unit over here to take that guy's place. I'm not going to bother making too much even though we're under significant military threat here. One, because I'm already making some more units and two, because I should have this field army here that will take care of anything before that becomes a problem with Trapezus, which is a much more valuable city to us than Satala here despite its uh, apparent lower income. Okay. That being said, I'm pretty sure I ended my last video right at the end of my term for the most part, so unless I want to fight a specific battle, I think we're good. Now, the only thing I really want to do maybe is to take these Armenians on. So, they've got two three really good cavalry units here with two units of a Zat cavalry, one of which is depleted and a depleted cataphract archer. They've got a lot of a lot of cavalry units, not as much of a missile component as they would normally have, but still a couple horse archers. I think we're good to to try this. I think this is a battle we can win here. Even without the best army. Um let's let's go for it. Attack <coughs> like to start driving some of these threats back so I can really focus on the offensive and Asia Minor here. We even have reinforcements. I'm not going to have them come in uh, under AI control because I don't want to just waste guys. I don't think we need that. Plus the AI will tend to just retreat away if you have too many people for it to feel comfortable fighting and I'd rather crush them now rather than have to face them again later. So, we are moving right into a battle here in this one. Good start. <sighs> this may be a good day. All right, I'll get back to you once I'm deployed here, guys. All right, guys, I'm all set up here and ready to fight the battle. I love how these Thrakatai hoplites look. They're just awesome. But, um, yeah, pretty simple deployment. I have all my cavalry in loose formation to, uh, hopefully minimize any missile casualties, but for once it looks like we're getting just a nice straight-up battle here. They're lined up right ahead of us, moving forwards. We're moving forwards right there. Flat ground, no crazy mountains. Hopefully the enemy won't just retreat out of nowhere here. I think this is going to be a good fight here. Our infantry definitely shouldn't have much of a problem with theirs. They're, um, they have one full Katronic and Spearmint unit here that's pretty strong, as well as a unit of uh, Armenian Hoplites that aren't bad. But my Phalanx should be able to take them head on and hopefully leave my mobile Spear units as uh, flankers or cavalry support to take on their uh, superior Cav here. 
But let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit and start the skirmish phase of this battle. We really, um, we don't have the same mobile skirmisher potential they do, but our our foot skirmisher contingent is better than theirs. Oh, it looks like they're committing their, one of their depleted cataphract units. We're going to send some generals this way and swing our light cav right over to about here. Oh crap, okay. They rushed our heavy cav while they were still in light formation. So that's not going well for us. And this is cataphracts here, so that could be less than fantastic. Looks like we managed to pull out. Try to get some javelins off here before they run away. Come on. Okay, we're getting a few off. Didn't really kill many of them, unfortunately, but hey. Let's see if we can't pin them down here. Nope, they got away, they got away. Let's just reset. Are you kidding? They're running away already. This battle hasn't even started yet. Oh well. We'll, uh, we'll make sure we kill what they send. Crap. Um, send in some reinforcements here and start attacking there. Alright guys, get over this way. Good lord, that unit is getting creamed. They've got a lot of heavy cavalry over here just messing my guys up. Oh well, we'll just retreat right into Antioch and retrain again, but... Ah, I really did not want them to run away. So frustrating. But at least they left us some pretty valuable sacrificial units here. They peeled off a pretty huge chunk of their heavy cavalry. It was not a good decision by them. They should have left a couple units of, like, levy spearmen to help buy their time. This is just throwing away money and good troops. Looks like they even have one of the depleted Contronican units here. Alright, let's get these guys in phalanx formation and start advancing. They're using their javelins up for the most part. Pull my archers out of there, I don't want to take needless casualties. Okay, you guys have basically thrown all your missiles, so let's get out of the way here. Let's see if we can't keep them from getting away. What are you doing, archers? I told you to get away. Um, alright. Lord, you got thrashed. Get this way. Alright, generals, pull back to about here. And hopefully we can route this unit of Contronicans. Oh, they're facing this way, because they must be on guard mode. Oh, they routed regardless. Okay. Chase their asses down. Light cavalry... Head this way. And this battle, such as it is, will be over here shortly since the cowardly Armenians ran away once again. As soon as we show a little teeth, they just skedaddle out of here. But we'll grab some close ups in the meantime, take advantage of it. Never, never get over the graphics in this mod. So fantastic for the uh, original Rome Total War engine. Just makes me uh, makes me excited for Rome too. I'll say that. Alrighty. So as soon as they finish retreating, that's the end of this battle. There we go. Let's go ahead and end it here. All right. This victory surely they were, not that of mortals like us. Yeah, those cataphracts still ended up taking about a hundred, uh, hundred people out of my army, but a bit of that was due to my own, uh, slow reflexes there with my heavy calf.
Alright, well, let's move right along. Alright, we're going to go ahead and move back towards Antioch here, and hopefully next turn we'll be able to retrain our battered units here. And... I don't think there's much else to do for this turn, so we might make a quick save and end the turn. Actually... Let's save that one. Alright. Let's see what happens. I, oh. Okay, we ran just ran out of turns on that fort. Not worried about that. We've been ambushed. Oh, we failed our ambush here. But we still got a straight up field battle out of this and oh they have almost no cavalry. This should be a bloodbath. It's already a river crossing, I believe, here, so we should absolutely slaughter them with our ranged units and um, our large lithobolos we have. Should be in for a treat here, guys, assuming he doesn't lag like crazy. Alright, guys, it looks like we did not get a river battle. I'm guessing it's just because it was an ambush. I'm pretty sure we were on the river crossing. But uh, anyways, we should still be the defenders here, so we're going to set up in a nice little defensive formation... Let's go ahead and start the battle here. Um, we're just going to kind of take what shots we can while they approach with this. And we'll probably just withdraw these guys a little bit so they don't die. And um, hopefully they'll just flood onto our lines here. And then we will use our cavalry to swing around and just mass route them. And we'll probably also try to thin them out a little bit with our horse archers. Maybe take out what cav elements they do have before they become a problem. But let's just go ahead and move our horse archers up to about here. Units and we should be able to start getting shots here pretty soon with these. Um, unfortunately, they wouldn't really let me deploy these because of the woods. So this is where they started and this is where they're staying. That's why I kind of deployed behind them here a little bit because they're definitely most effective with flaming, uh, flaming projectiles. But they tend to hit your army if you're anywhere in front of them. They're pretty darn wild in this game. But this will be fun to get some shots here if we hit anything. Not yet. Let's aim... Oh, these guys aren't advancing for whatever reason. Aim right for these guys. Oh, there we are. That's lovely. That's what I like to see. Aw, oh, some of them got up. That's sad. Still, that's quite a few corpses. Alright, we're going to set up right about here. Looks like they are trying to come engage, but we're just going to shoot the crap out of them. Oh, yeah. That's not going to work very well for them if they're trying to chase horse archers down with levy pikemen. They're definitely uh, better tactics if you're fighting them, that's for sure. The rest of their army is still completely uh, stationary here. So I don't know if this is the AI just glitching or if they're scared of my siege weapons. I honestly have no idea. Now I'm kind of worried because they're getting pretty damn close to my horse archers and I could easily see some friendly fire happening here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn them off for now. Kind of a waste without the whole army up here anyways and we're just going to keep shooting these guys. Bam! Right as I say it's a waste, we get an awesome hit like that. Same with my regular archers here, I'm going to turn fire well off for the moment. Not really necessary here. I thought I told you guys to stop firing. Regardless, they're basically dead. So let's go ahead and swing right over to about here. We'll take out this cavalry unit here next. Hopefully we start targeting this one so we stop wasting arrows in this little tiny unit here. There we go. Uh, I 
Are you guys going to die yet? I mean, you could just run away and save me the trouble. Alright, let's just start working on these, uh... These... Thurophoroi hit bays here. See what kills we can do there. Uh, not as effective as I'd like. We might try to spread one of these out and get some flank shots here. Tend to get a lot better kills shooting them from uh, from a flank. They'll have to chase one or the other. <coughs> oh, there we are. Now we're getting a lot better shots. They're probably going to switch to these guys since they're closer while I'm running. Yep. That's alright. God, guys, come on. Work with me here. Let's go around. You don't need skirmish one on for the moment if you're just going to keep running. Just get around them. Six dudes. I know we got long pointy sticks and you're scared of that, but... Alright. Oh, here we go. The rest of their army is starting to advance. And while we did not completely take out that cavalry unit, it is significantly weakened. So let's go ahead and pull back here a little bit. We'll uh, figure out what we want to do with these guys here in just a moment. Ooh. These Celtic light swordsmen seem like a really soft target. I like that. Easy kills. Honestly, I think I'm going to kind of pull back to here, see if I can't get them headed towards my army. This is kind of dragging on a little longer than I'd like, so... Let's see what happens. Okay. Play, 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 play. You guys go back to fire at will, and you guys go back to fire at will. There we go, we're getting some good kills on these guys. <laughs> Not the best unit to use against horse archers either. They're less armored than your levy hopla or your levy uh, phalanx units were. Nope, oh, pull back the rats. Right. So there are some javelins, guys. Maybe. Nope, they didn't. That works. And they're not shooting anything. Shoot. Why can't you shoot? Seriously? Get some shots. You're going to have to retreat here in like two seconds. What? Did I have some AI reinforcements come here or something? Oh, no. So, sorry, guys. I, uh, I have another Pergamum campaign, go campaign going on, and it getting confused here as to which army I'm controlling apparently alright guys seriously you can shoot any time now like one charge and they're just going to destroy you it's these trees well you know what just retreat here can, can you withdraw no that's not good okay can I advance in front of you I can. It's gonna screw up my phalanx, but hey. Okay, my horse archers are officially out of ammunition, so let's go to tight formation. And let's take these guys out, it should be a piece of cake. I've got experience on my side. My guys are tired though, so that's not good. Come on, come on, come on, hit him in the back here quickly. I'll retrain you, I swear. And let's pounce on these guys. I don't know what they think they're going to accomplish by charging in, but I'm certainly not going to stop them. 
Well, I'm gonna stop them from doing anything useful, but Alright. Do so you guys know what you're doing yet? Are you just gonna kinda sit here or what? Units! Alright. Let's go to these guys next. Hopefully they'll route. Let's see. We should be able to smash them in between right here. Do I have flaming arrows on? I do, apparently. Not what I meant to turn on. I mean, it's working out all right. Made them run away, but hey. Are you guys going to engage? What is your deal? Alright. Just get rid of that light. Oh, shoot. You snuck some guys around. That surprised me. Alright, let's see what's going on here. They are confusing the crap out of me, I'm not going to lie. I think they're just trying to get around the flank, so let's send these guys over this way. Can you pick a target already? I'm just going to javelin the crap out of you. Let's chase them down. Flank shots in these Thorough 4 right here. I think they're trying to move in on my heavy cavalry. Alright. We should be able to get them to run away with this charge here. Maybe. We didn't get a very good uh, actual charge there. Yep, there we go. They're broken. Move around this way. Go and get some javelins right there. Can they even retreat from an ambush? I guess they can. Let's try to uh, get as many kills as we can in the meantime. Where the hell is this unit? Is this way back there still? Okay. Whoa, catapults, really, come on. You're not even on fire at will, man. Alright, it looks like we pretty much managed to get all their units routing, so now it's just cleanup time. I will see you guys at the results screen. Alright, um, yeah, that worked pretty well. We took a few casualties, but, you know, nothing big, and we managed to finally kill one of Pergamon's armies, which we badly needed to do. Ooh, darn it. If they didn't have that army right there, I'd say we could just go grab uh, Nicomedia. Yeah, for whatever reason, I th I think we might have been moved off that uh, Ford by like a diplomat or something even.
Because they can displace you so sometimes. That's weird. Oh well. A dead army's a dead army. Oh god, Heraclea needs to expand now too. I think we have another city we're trying to get the money to expand already. If I remember correctly. Yeah, it was uh, Mazaka. Jeez. Well, money's tight, guys. Just, uh... Chillax. Try to try to survive. The Seleucids are pushing in now as well. Damn vultures. Alrighty. My lord? My lord? Splitting the troops. Retrain you guys. My lord? And you as well. My lord? Leaving the army. Okay. Let's go ahead and get our army Sir, completed over here to Mesia. Yes. <coughs> and make a quick save. I think we're just going to go ahead and engage Armenia here. And they've got really not a great army. They have a lot of heavily depleted units, including their cav, except for this Nakara unit, which is going to be a pain. But uh, also a really experienced general's bodyguard, which is probably going to be equally as big of a pain. But their infantry is nothing impressive per usual, besides these two elite phalangite mercenaries. But, uh, let's go ahead and fight this. <sighs> Alright, guys. This is, uh, definitely the most hodgepodge army we've probably fielded in this campaign so far. But desperate times and all that, as they say. So let's get started here. Reinforcements have arrived, but are they in time to take part okay. in the battle? They're very uh, spread out formation from the looks of it on their part. Um, I'm, even, I'm honestly gonna put these guns in the loose formation here. Cappadocians can definitely destroying close quarters, but I'd rather not have them thinned out too much by archer fire early on. <sighs> and... Some units we haven't really seen too much here with these Macafoyroi. Macafoyroi, however you pronounce that. And these Dracomi Heavy Spearmen, which I have in Shield Wall. Pretty awesome. But, uh, oh, looks like they're condensing their formation and maybe marching my way a little bit. <laughs> no, nothing so organized. They're just playing Ring Around the Rosie or something over here. Anyways, we're just going to triple speed this while I advance. And maybe the AI will figure out what it wants to do eventually. Oh, it scared me for a second. I thought they were going to attack. Whoa. Are you kidding me? No, stop it, game. Okay. Why you run? Why? Let's be friends. Let's play the me killing you game. It's a great party game, I promise. Well, guys, that was anticlimax at its finest. Maybe get at least a couple kills. Take out some frustration on these guys. These Persian Sparabara. Sucks to be you, dudes. Oh, yeah. They're done for. 
<clears throat> Just gonna run right through them. At least get what what kills I can while they run away from me like pansies. Honestly, with their army composition, they should have run away, but it's still kind of annoying. Making me go through all this trouble of hiring this army and not even letting me use it. <coughs> oh, 70 kills, 8 or so losses, probably from friendly fire. <sighs> run away, Armenia, run away. Who is that? Meruzhan. Ooh, we went to this little fort. I could even... Ooh, I might be able to force him to fight by engaging that, uh... That unit of cavalry right there. Might even stand its ground since he has those troops in the fort. Then they wouldn't be able to run away even if they wanted to. Uh, let's see... You guys look like you have a much better army than the previous one I just fought. Some Hypospits, Hoplites of Pergamon, Virgin Heavy Cavalry, Macrophore, Alep, Epo, Epilectoi, other pretty decent units. Do I have a spy nearby I can use? Besides him? No? Okay. I might just try the same thing again. I wonder if it's just going to keep doing that because of the ambush or what. So I'd really like to do an actual river battle here, but the ambush works okay too, especially if it actually lets us spring it like it's supposed to. So far, not really anything happening over here. He's just kind of chilling by his capital. Definitely some good troops around here. These guys are... Better than any infantry we can field. That's for sure. Well, uh, I might even end the episode here, and we'll just have a couple more battles next time. So, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Hopefully I'll have another one up here for you soon, and I'll see you next time.